There were new developments Wednesday in the story involving improper benefits to University of Miami football players and other athletes. The NCAA says it's been investigating the relationship between a convicted Ponzi scheme artist and the university for five months. And the allegations, if true, show the need for serious and fundamental change in college sports. Former booster Nevin Shapiro, shown here on the right and now serving 20 years in federal prison, claims he treated players with sex parties, nightclub outings, cars, and other gifts. Shapiro told Yahoo Sports he provided improper benefits to 72 football players and other athletes at Miami from 2002 to 2010. NCAA President Mark Emmert released a statement saying, If the assertions are true, the alleged conduct at the University of Miami is an illustration of the need for serious and fundamental change in many critical aspects of college sports. The entire Miami team took the practice field Wednesday, even though Shapiro's claims involved several current players, most notably quarterback Ja'Cory Harris. First-year football coach Al Golden. You know, the only facts that I'm going by are what we received from the NCAA or the university. Um, from a compliance standpoint, so until we hear of, uh, you know, an infraction uh, or that uh, we did break a rule, uh, everybody's practicing. If somebody, uh, if it is determined that somebody broke uh, rules, then certainly uh, that will be uh, first dealt with uh, from a university standpoint, from an eligibility standpoint. NCAA investigators were on the Miami campus this week in the wake of Shapiro's allegations, and they have interviewed school president Donna Shalala and athletic director Sean Eichhorst. The shockwaves from the current allegations are being felt all throughout Coral Gables. Harry Rothwell is a hurricane season ticket holder and manager of the Old Kane store just off campus. We're hoping the hurricane family will stick together and support the program and, and try to demand that this doesn't happen again and, and hopefully correct it so it doesn't happen again. But, um, you know, we have a vested interest in the university, not only as a store, but as a, as a donor, as a council member, as, as someone that's been around these people for a long time. And, it, you know, it's a sad day when, when this happens. We all feel it right here. And, um, you know, it's like losing a family member. I'm waiting for the university to help comfort us so we know that it's going to be okay. But at this point, we just don't know. It will likely be a while before Miami knows its fate. According to the NCAA, most cases are resolved in six to seven months. More complex investigations take longer. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.